boy, such all the water boy, above the law, Mikey Rock and all his people and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? We in this bitch. Uh, we back on tour with Super Bowl. Midnight, I don't know if we're gonna call it the Midnight Club Tour Three. We're gonna have another name for this tour. Sesh Hollow Water, Sesh Hollow Healthy Boys Tour coming soon. You feel me? And uh, I'm like, man, just keep stay tuned, man. With the independent niggas, we're not in the mainstream, so you might not see it in the publication. But we never stop working, man. You know what I'm saying? Never gonna stop working, man. Talk to us about your set tonight. How did that come uh, about? Basically, I uh, opened up with like a, like mostly rap shit, you know what I mean? And then as I went in, kind of got heavier and heavier with it. And then I got a new punk project I did with the homie XOXI Haunter. And uh, basically, like I played three out of the five tracks on that project. I'm gonna drop out the tour with him. So it's like, I don't know, I just like the, I like the heavy, crazy energy, like the engagement, you know what I mean? I like to see the circle pits, shit like that. And I like to do fresh shit and just have fun, you know what I mean? You're over here with your boy Eddie, right? Which last time that we, we spoke, you and Eddie were on that tour. Yeah, up with here Cortex. With West Cortex. Apocalyptic yeah. Tour. Yeah, West, uh, West Apocalyptic uh, Tour. Yeah, so basically I went no, no, on tour with Chris, and that did whatever, and then me and Eddie were like, fuck, we're setting up our own run, and then it was like me, him, and Cortex just rented a van and fucking ran the shit, you know? We went through like the reservation and Ship Rock. Yeah, yeah, we did like seven shows. We came up to the Bay. We One of our shows got canceled. We actually ended up just looking like, or the, we didn't look it. Basically, someone gave us, a, they were like, we got a weed venue. They're doing a weed event tonight. Like, y'all can fucking do your show there. So we just had everybody pull up to the weed event, you know what I mean? And that was here in Oakland, actually. Now I think about it. Yeah, so, you know, just was doing our thing, and now we're fucking on this tour. I'm working on getting tours, doing my own tour soon. Yeah, how, how can you say, like, Eddie's helped you, like, level up in that way? Oh, Eddie's fucking, Eddie's done too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, where? <laughs> like, uh... I lived in LA for three years and was just living out <laughs> okay, production studios, living out fucking, like I had a RV at one point, you know what I'm saying? And then I, when I met Eddie, me and Eddie started throwing parties. He, he was like the first person to give me a feature. Like he's the one who, like I was, together. I was, th oh yeah, he was the first one to give me a place to live. You know what I mean? Like, like I basically was staying out this like loft studio in downtown. I wasn't supposed to stay there, but I was just staying there anyway. And uh, I ended up getting kicked out because I wasn't supposed to stay there. And then Eddie was just like, you can stay with me for like a month before you get a place. I stayed with him for a month. We got in a fight at the spa, fucking threw, threw a party, fucking lost some money on the party because he was right. I'm not gonna lie. But Eddie, Eddie taught me that logic ain't always the answer. I'm a real logical type of person when it comes to you know, life situation. What did I teach you? But Eddie was like, bro, I'm telling you, it ain't gonna go up. We got in a huge argument about this shit. And, and, then, and then he was like, all right, we'll do it, we'll do it. And then we did it, and then I, I lost money, and he would call it, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Like, motherfucker helped put me on. Fucking Jeffrey's been helping me on, you know? Wolf, everybody. You know what I mean? It's all love. Like, I'm past this stage where I'm like just like shocked about tour, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm just doing it. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's not. Like, I'm thinking way bigger than just tour. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. understand. Yeah. I, I hate to say it. I went to tour and shit like. Uh, like middle school, high school. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Born, like what? Like, part of the game. Where's your, where's your head at right now? Like, what are you focusing on? Being consistent along the drive. Being consistent. Just getting home. Like, just being ahead of my work. Being consistent. Yeah. You have a couple music videos out right now? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. You have a couple music videos out right now? Like, recently? Did you direct any of those? Because I know you're in the uh, cinematography. Basically, one of them I directed. The other one, Eddie, technically directed. But I wrote the treatment, wrote all the shot lists, everything. I handed it to Eddie, told him the idea, and he directed it. Fire. But, like, I wrote it all, you know what I mean? And then he did the directing. They needed me for the money for it. Jeffrey paid for it. <laughs> so he's the producer. He I like the how the camera get story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Producer, I'm writer, just playing director. The homie know I got the story. I ain't gonna lie. No, yeah, we switch up. We be doing a lot of different shit. Like I said, me and him be like writing shit together. I feel just like a bitch. I'm a chick up in the kitchen. I say frequently suspended. I'm like so bitch, but I'm still kicking. I'm just trying to get my shit off. Yeah, I feel just like a bitch. So do you see like one of the questions we had was like what do you like how can you characterize like your longevity like you know like how, what does that take because you we, last time we saw you you know it was like even from there the last two years consistency it's like the year last year I dropped seven projects you know what I'm saying just being consistent not giving a fuck about the critics, not giving a fuck about the numbers, you know what I'm saying? Just like being consistent, staying on the main goal, which is creating dope art, you know what I'm saying? If you create dope art, dope things will come, you know what I'm saying? And that's been my whole career. And I kind of can speak for Bones and Wolf too, because I take a lot of their fame, you know what I'm saying? Being consistent, dropping, 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 dropping. Drop Don't care, like, you know, I dropped some projects last year, they got a million plays. And I dropped something that got like 10,000 plays, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, it never stopped me. The ones that got 10,000 didn't stop me, you know what I'm saying? I just kept going and going and going. And that's what your supporters and the fans, that's what they want consistency. Because you only fall off when you stop making music. Yeah. When you stop making music, that's when you fall off. You can have a bad project. I'd rather have people talk shit about a project and not drop nothing. You know what I'm saying? So you get a like, reaction? You know what I'm saying? Because like, when it comes to like your fans following you, like you can kind of see it in every every show. Like, when you keep up with, like when you keep consistently dropping, I think your fans reward you because like, you were like, since we last saw you, like you had just put out the stuff with Cortex, yeah. fucking Night Rider, like that yeah. 80s shit. And all that shit really got millions of plays now, you know what I'm saying? Which is like, I didn't even realize that millions of plays when I looked at it. Like, I do. Maybe like last year, I was like, damn, yeah. that shit, millions of plays. Yeah, I didn't even realize it, you know what I'm saying? Like when we were doing it, it was just keeping that fucking tunnel vision, you know what I'm saying? Like just grinding on that shit, you feel me? Yeah. I don't know if we, we caught it, but can you tell us about who's joining next year on tour? Bones. It'll be me, Wolf, and Bones. We're going on tour. Tell me Bones! And let me tell you like this. I'll tell you. Next time you see me in his face in this city, it will be with Bones. In the video, I'm gonna hopefully drop it the day the Novo show is. That's the plan. You want Chicago from here? That's the plan. I'm gonna try and drop the video the Novo show. I'm gonna drop it. It's on a tape. I got a couple features on that. But I'm gonna drop the tape after the video. What is that? What is that? I think we did go to the other show. 
I recorded my part at the crib and I just brought on the track and we went, we all like kicked it in Oceanside for like a day. And we played basketball at the studio and shit. He recorded his part. We went, went got a urban water. I tried sea moss for the first time. That shit was lit. I'm not gonna lie, making the sea moss. Our generation. It feels good. Like, I mean, sea moss feels good. I know, dead ass. I was put on my skin. That shit was really good. It's really good for you. Bro, like, I'll eat it and then feel good like a couple hours later. You know what I mean? Is that the secret in between, like, packed out shows? I like the last time. We had we had we had the CMOS at the beginning of the tour, but we ran out quick. You know what I mean? Yeah, they all do the, the after party. Yeah, how was that event today? She was lit as fuck, bro. Every time, yeah, this shit. Hey, guys. We just <laughs> Wolfpack right, man, get you some. <laughs> That's the catch line. Get you some. No, get you some. Get you some. I'm a brand ambassador. Yeah. Run with, run with the pack. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, we'll keep Wolfpack in the trap. Run, run with the pack, Wolfpack. You get a pound of that. Get a pound of that Wolfpack. Yeah, Wolfpack, man. We smoking some of the good weed, man. You know what I'm saying? It's up there with the brunts. It's up there with the cookies. All that shit. Shout out to the cookies, man. They've been showing hella love the past what two events. Cookies. What? Cookies been showing love. Right yeah, now, fuck cookies, bro. We dropping this shit. Only dropping the cookies for right now. Feel me? So, well, I'm finna do the weed tour. I'm finna do the cookies tour. I really just started that little. Like, I feel like you've been on it. Right I'm mean, actually we're two yeah. shows deep on the cookies tour. Yeah, yeah. Now y'all, y'all been selling out like every fucking show. What does that feel like? Mikey, this is the man right here. Selling out every show feel fucking great. Feels great. Shout out to Wolf, you know what I'm saying? Kids. He's been paying very good. Paying very, very good. Sold out show. Bust down, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. My nigga gave me like a hundred K. I don't even want to say all the extra shit, but you know what I'm saying? Rich as hell. I love it. Shout out my boy. I'll be right back. Sold out show. They gave me like 90. They gave me like 89. Been a very good show. Very good tour. Rich as hell. Well, I don't want to put numbers. Rex, I can do that. I'm inflating. I'm not even missing the shit I spent, but. Gun you down for that. Been a very good tour. <laughs> hey, yo, this is Eddie fucking Baker and your Mikey Rodden. You watch the way they do on the eyes. I'm doing that. Hey, hey, I'm doing that. Yeah, 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 there we go. Jolly Mickey Mouse with the blunt. Jolly Mickey Mouse with the blunt. Yeah. Three, two, one. Hey, yo, this is Eddie fucking Baker. And Mikey Rodden. And you're watching Death's TV, motherfuckers. Do 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 do. I'm loving it.